Hey guys, Troy here. This is Endless Praise by Charity Gale in the original key of F-sharp. I've uh, been meaning to do this one for a couple months now and just haven't gotten around to it. Finally found some time uh, to kind of break open the guitar parts and figure out what I wanted to do with it. I'm staying pretty faithful to the original parts. Again, like I usually do, taking uh, multiple guitar parts and blending them up and turning them into one lead guitar part that I think works pretty well for one lead guitar player. Uh, and again, I'm adding in some of my own stuff here. So in specific, the bridge um, where I follow the vocal and then also like the build, uh, most of that stuff that I decided to put in there, uh, not faithful to the original. So in any case, the verses and the choruses are pretty close. So um, it's there's reverse delay and stuff happening in there. So it's tough to hear exactly what's going on. So I did the best I could. And uh, again, I think it works well. So if you're looking for some help on this one, I do hope this one is helpful. If you want the video that has the tabs going across the screen and like the explanation of tones and stuff like that, that's over at guitarforhisglory.com so you can check that out. But let's talk about the words to this one. Uh, why this song? Uh, first of all, the title grabbed my attention, Endless Praise. Loved it. Uh, secondly, it was recommended by a really, really good friend of mine. Uh, I trust his judgment uh, almost implicitly. So uh, when he recommended this song, I knew it would be a good one and the words would be faithful to scripture um, and not stretching things or bending things just to rhyme or to sound cool or have shock value or whatever, but really faithful to the Word of God. And so I wanted to focus on, in particular, uh, one section of this song that says, what can we give you but endless praise? And why is that? So why should the Christian have that posture of what can I give you but endless praise? First of all, we have nothing to offer God. We are dead in our trespasses prior to being in Christ. We are rebels, enemies against God. So what do we have to give him? Nothing, nothing. Uh, I've heard some uh, so-called pastors and preachers out there say that, you know, um, it's because of our value that Jesus died for us. It had nothing to do with our value. We are enemies against him. Nothing to do with him. It had everything to do with God the Father putting in place a plan of redemption to glorify him to bring glory to him, to gift a bride without spot or blemish to his son. It's all about the Trinity, the Holy Spirit sealing redemption for us, had nothing to do with our value. Uh, secondly, so endless praise. Think of Psalm 145, right? I will continually bless your name. I will continually bless your name. And why is that? Well, think of like the threefold stages of redemption. Uh, first, salvation, right? Justification, we are saved and forgiven, uh, saved from our sins. So the consequences of our sin, we are saved from that. And then move to sanctification. So we are continually being delivered from the power of sin in our lives. So right, justification, we are saved from the consequences of sin. Sanctification, we are being delivered from the power of sin. And then last, glorification, where we are finally and forever delivered from the presence of of sin. We will no more be affected by sin. We'll have a perfect resurrection body worshiping our perfect Lord and Savior whom we will see finally face to face. The moment that as a Christian we've all been waiting for that when that day comes that he would say well done good and faithful servant and it will not be because of anything that we did but only because of the righteousness bestowed on us by Jesus that we wear that borrowed robe of righteousness. I always say that, that borrowed robe, because it does not belong to us. Anything that you or I have done to try to please God is but filthy rags to him. But he has provided a way, a covering for us in Christ, that when we stand before him in glory, he will only see perfection. He will only see us as he sees his son, which is perfect. I just can't get over that. Can you imagine that day? that day, knowing what we've done and the rebellion that we have all took place in, that you will look at us and say, well done, good and faithful servant. Oh, praise his name. What do we have to give him but endless praise for that? I hope in some way that was encouraging to you. I know the song has really blessed me and I'm thankful for it. And I'm thankful for brothers and sisters who recommend these Christ exalting, lyrically faithful songs that, you know, look to the Bible and to scripture alone 
uh, to find truth and to put it on the lips of God's people so we can just sing that stuff to him. I just love it so much. So I really hope you guys are doing well. Um, I know I haven't been as active on here lately. Uh, just life is getting busy as uh, my kids get older. Uh, just things are changing. So um, again, want to do this song. I hope it's helpful to you. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. See